เราเหลืออีกสองท่านสุดท้ายก็เป็นหัวข้อที่น่าสนใจทั้งนั้นนะฮะคนต่อไปนะครับเป็นดรวราวุฒิช่วงชัยนะครับซึ่งตอนรับตอนทําปริญญาเอกเนี่ยก็เป็นทุน NUIRC นะครับซึ่งดรวราวุฒิก็ศึกษาสาขาวิชาวิศวกรรมทางการแพทย์นะครับคณะวิศวกรรมศาสตร์มหาวิทยาลัยธรรมศาสตร์นี่เองนะฮะแล้วก็เรื่องที่จะพูดในวันนี้นะฮะเป็นผลการฝึกความยืดหยุ่นการเรียนรู้ของสมองขั้นสูงเกี่ยวกับการล้มในผู้สูงอายุน่าสนใจมากเลย The System of Training and Testing Cognitive Plasticity นะครับอขอเสียงปรบมือให้กับสปิเกอร์เรานะครับครับเชิญครับ Good Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me here. The secondly, please accept my apology because the slide I created is not the same as mentioned in other papers. This is a part of my PhD dissertation. It's a tool because we just have 10 minutes about, so just give it up. And I want to mention my professor, the uh, the professor, medical doctor Yong Yusli Pakan, which is. The advice of my PhD. Um, I got master and bachelor from interior architecture, which is a design, all about the design art. I got a PhD in medical engineering. Um, so these two is going to be combined about the engineering part, the medical engineering part, and the design. Um, the pr the first problem that we are Thinking about to do this too because the Thailand is aging faster than any other in Southeast Asia. That means right now Thai is in the situation of aging society and is going to be in the aging society, which is mean we will have a lot of 80, 80 years old, cloudy all over the time in about next 10 years. So we have to prepare something about. Before that, one reason that the speaker mentioned that it's about the fall. The fall is when people get down or you slip or something. You get fall. Fall is commonly on aging. I mean, aging is older people. Um, every when you can when when we call older is about sixty years old. We're gonna call that people is older or elderly or aging, whatever that means. It's the same term. Um, when people get 60, I mean aging, they almost get for every years. I mean every year. The statistic in Thailand is rep reported that it's every year, and one in a third of people who get for is gonna be die. They die. One of one in a third. So this is a critical issue. And one issue is that we interested about to having four is the cognition, the cognition or the cognitive, the cognition, the easy term for the kids or the back to understand. The cognition is the brain system in our body. The brain system, like an intelligent to solving a problem. Why we study this thing? Because when people get four. It's just like two second, three second. You get four by externally. This intelligence. I mean, if you have excellent, if you got an intelligence, or you prepare for that, you know how to fall, not to die. This is what we interested. And this critical point is about seventy to this. This gap is about seventy to thirty-five years old of the people. You're gonna see that the successful aging is mean the older people who healthy. Like healthy than normal, their condition still decline. All of that decline, but if you had a a disorder like Alzheimer, stroke, or anything that related to the cognition or your brain, it's easily to get that when you get older, right? The decline is going to be much lower than the other. This is the way to be die. It's easier than the other. One tool that we invited based on stoop. Stoop is the name of that I'm going to talk with later. Um, since we are all Thai, please look at on the third column. If I ask at you to 
read the words. The words mean this is going to be red, yellow, and green, right? Words say that red, yellow, and green. But the next column, if I ask it you to answer me the color, the color, not the words, the answer is going to be green, red, and blue. Once again, if I ask it you to answer the colors, it's going to be green, red, and blue. You're going to see that when you read that two columns, your, your mind, your brain is going to have two person. One person is trying to read the words, right? Some, somebody may answer red, yellow, and green because you read it. The second person, because I asked you to identify the colors, the second person tried to answer the right, the right, um, the right answers. That is the stoop effect. This is all, all the overview of that. All right. This, this kind of thing, the stoop thing is represent the intelligent, the cognitive, which is higher, high orders in our brain. You need to solve a problem. You need to, um, take time to think about, to answer that. It's not just like easy. But the other, the other theory that try to, uh, that can explain this one because in our brain, we have a uh, autonomic network system. This is an autonomic system. When you see it, you read it. That is the autonomic network system. Okay. Of the, um, and the stupid effect, it, there has a bunch of the research that uh, reported and confirmed that the stupid effect and the brain is correlated. Um, especially the, the frontal area, which is the forehead of the, your brain. This frontal area is about the learning new thing. When you learn something, when you experience something, you have an experience, right? It's, we call it a color experience. That one is going, to into, is going to help you when you're facing a problem that you've never seen before. This one that we're trying to develop. In 2015, which is the first year of my PhD, I tried to, I, I tried to do my research and I couldn't find any application or the tool that represents the stool pace. This is I can use from the Google Play or App Store. So I invited and based on my design because I'm from the design school. So I tried to use some knowledge of the design to represent that I can pass them because it can be a little far. This is the application that I did all of that. Um, before, before we use this one, we validated it means try, try to confirm this application is going to be worked by the context, which is from the two professors. The first one is from the bioengineering. The second one is from the um, environmental physiological department, which is all, all, all professor represented that is 1.0, which is, that's fine, that's good. You can do this for your, your, your thesis. All right. Um, actually, they got a lot more condition than that. We're gonna, we're gonna spend time with that a bit. Um, in my, in my application, we got eight levels. The first, the first line, or the first line, is about the color and word, just of color and word. The first one, the answer is yellow. Easy, right? Because you see a symbol, I ask it you to identify the color. It's just one, one answer is the yellow. The second one, if I ask it you to identify the words, you're gonna read it green, right? Green. The answer is green. When you go to the inconclusive condition, that means you have to use that kind of stoop effect is come to, come to interrupt you. The third level, I'm going to ask you to identify the color. The color is going to be yellow. The, the right answer is yellow. And the fourth level at the first, at the, at the fourth level is going to be really hard because I'm going to ask you to identify the opposite, both and, uh, both color and word opposite both color and word. The color is yellow. The word saying green. So the two correct answer is going to be either red or blue. Again, 
on the first on the fourth level, I'm going to ask you to identify the opposite of both color and worth. Which is you're going to have to answer. Either one is okay. Green. Oh, sorry. Red or blue is correct answer. Go to the the other the other lines. It's going to be more um more condition for you to think about that. We add a color of the background. We add a color of the background. The first, uh, the all of the five, we're gonna ask you to identify the color, which is yellow. Easy, right? The second, or uh, the six, is gonna be, I'm gonna ask you to identify the word. The word say, Namgen, right, is blue. In the concrete condition, is again, the stupid is gonna come with that. I'm gonna ask you to identify the color the color which is going to be red this answer is red is a color and the last one is going to be hard as one i'm going to ask you to identify the opposites board uh, not board the opposites of color worth and the background which is going to be have it's going to be only one answer on the fourth level they have to answer right but on the eighth level the right answer is just only one. In this case, it's going to be green. This one is going to be green, which is opposite to all the things. That is a level that we use, we are invited. The stoop effect is about one, two, three levels. From four to, five, from four to eight levels, we invited it to use for my PhD dissertation. This is a screening test. We app, uh, we use the application from the iPad because we think about that the smartphone is too small for the eight, for the aging people. So we invited for the iPad. The training, um, the survey effect is talk about the survey effect is talk about the prefrontal part of the of your brain, which is about the learning to prevent the fall and improve the cognition. You have to learn that. That means you have to train it, to collect it, to experience it as much as they can. So they can remember to, to have an intelligent, right? When you get some situation that can have four, so you have some intelligent, some well known to avoid that. This is the highly idea on the crown. And the training is about my PhD, which is, you see, we use two things. The stoop effect is about the cognition. The other thing that we combine it with is the juggling. The juggling is like the, jug, the juggling, you know, the juggling, right? Yeah, the juggling, which is represent the model of the body. When you're going to avoid the force, it's not just your brain. It's about your physical body, too. So we use the two things. And we collected data 40 days from Monday to Friday, 40 days in a row, one time in a row, with uh, 48 elderly persons. Um, you're going to see that in the session, in, in the session we have morning session and afternoon session. In the morning, they, they're going to train the juggling. In the afternoon, we're going to train the stoop test. And on the Friday, we have the exam of that. This is one of the results about the stoop head. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you just only the stoop head because limit of the time. Um, from level one to level eight, you we because we study about the force, so we um, separated it in the final result with who for who in the four group and not the four group from the medical record in the pre uh, previous year. By they don't know they don't know which one in each group. Only the researcher know that. We separated it. We analyze it with the unpatty test. Which is easy, right? So you're going to see that level four, seven, and eight, which is all in the concrete conditions, have a significant between the four and not four group. This result easy to represent that. The stoop effect in level four, seven, and eight, or we can call that in the stoop effect concrete, concrete condition group, or the, uh, or the opposite thing. It represents, it can be like predict elderly 
from for not for from the futures. This is we're trying to represent that. Um, that too is right now pending on the IP image pattern. So I try not to talk about that much. Okay, this is all my tool. This is a part of my PhD. The overall of my PhD, as we as we, uh, as we mentioned it before, we call, we use two things: the juggling and the stool effect. And we not only just um, collected that data, we also measure the heart rate variability, the visual acuity, the dynamic. It's almost kinds of the medical medical assessment to see the physical, the brain, the heart. And actually, we had a blood test, but is our friends right now. I would like to thank the scholarship from the NUIRC and also the partnership of the um, elderly care solution business from the SCG and the participant that all of that came from the Wasna Weird. If anybody interested to see the more information, please go to that website or you can go to this link. It's on my profile. They gotta have about four or five papers that correlated to this this um, this presented. So please feel free to go with that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. อ่าถ้าสมมุติว่าผมไม่ได้สมมุติอ่ะผมตาบอดสีอย่างเงี้ยผมทําไงผมก็จะใช้แอปนี้ไม่ได้ตัวเนี้ยใช่มั้ยเ